Whenever you are building the wall, when God has placed you on assignment, there are some things that you must expect. There are some things that are going to happen. It is normal. It is normal for you to come up against opposition. There are some things that are going to happen to you. Here's what's going to happen. One, attacks will come. Anytime God places you on assignment, the enemy is going to attack you because his job, his job is to distract you and to make sure that assignment is not completed. Hallelujah, Jesus. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Anytime you are placed on assignment, anytime you are building that wall, the enemy is going to attack you because his job is to make sure that you do not complete the task. His job is to take you off course. So I want to tell you this morning, people of God, that you must be aware, your spiritual eyes and ears must be open as to the tactics of the enemy when you're on assignment. Hallelujah, Jesus. Nehemiah came under countless attacks. He was, you know, he was just focused on building that wall. And he came under so many attacks. Many of us would have crumbled and said, forget about it and walked away. But he stayed the course. He stayed the course because it was a God-given assignment. And when you are on a God-given assignment, people of God, you cannot just throw up arms and walk away. Many of us, even as pastors, many times we come under attack. We are ministering. We are doing the work of God and we come under attack. And yes, there are moments when you are going to feel frustrated. There are moments when you are going to need somebody to lift you, somebody to encourage you. But it doesn't last. It doesn't last. You may feel down this minute and you say, God, why me? God, I can't do this no more. But let me tell you something. When you are called to do the work of God, you may be down for a minute. You may be down for a day. You may be down for a week. But give yourself another day, people of God. And you are back on your feet. That passion is there again. And you are steadfast on completing that wall. You are steadfast on completing that assignment. Because it is within you. You are called. You cannot abandon the task. You cannot run from the assignment. Hallelujah, Jesus. Good morning to you, Apostle Peter. God bless you. Good to see you, my brother. You're watching me all the way from Zambia. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Listen, when Nehemiah was building that wall, their enemies plotted against them. The enemy strategized. The enemy mocked them. Hallelujah, Jesus. If you look at Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 2, Sanballat mocked them. They mocked their strength. They wondered to themselves whether or not they would be able to complete this task. They laughed at the fact that it was so much rubble. And they were convinced that the Israelites would not be able to complete the task. Hallelujah, Jesus. But let me tell you something, people of God. When you are placed on divine assignment, God will send you divine protection. Any assignment that God has placed you on, it doesn't matter how the enemy is attacking you. Bear in mind this morning as I tell you as a servant of God, when you're on divine assignment, there is divine protection assigned. You must complete the task. Stay on the wall. Stay on the wall, people of God. Hallelujah. God gives you divine protection to go through every attack. He gives you divine protection to ward off everything, every arrow, every dart that is coming at you. God has already put in place the mechanisms to protect you. He's covering you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Nothing shall by any means harm you. 